It started with a glow that shouldn't have been there. In November 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Rantmann was in his lab, experimenting with cathode ray tubes, early vacuum tubes that spat out invisible streams of charged particles. He wrapped one tube in thick black cardboard to keep the light inside. The room went dark. The tube crackled to life, and a screen across the room started to glow. It was coated with a fluorescent chemical called barium platinocyanide. It should have been dead dark. No normal light could escape the tube's cardboard shield and reach it. But there it was, a ghostly green shimmer every time he switched the tube on. Rankin didn't shrug and move on. He did what obsessed people do. He basically moved into the lab. Eating there. Sleeping there. Testing everything in sight. He found that whatever these new rays were, they could pass through books, stacks of paper, even pieces of wood. But metal stopped them. Then he tried something bolder. He put his wife Anna Bertha's hand between the tube and a photographic plate. After a long exposure, an image emerged. The bones of her hand and her wedding ring floating in the dark. It became the first x-ray image of a human body part. When she saw it, she reportedly said, I have seen my death. Within a year, doctors around the world were using these mysterious rays to find bullets, fractures, and tumors inside the living. Rentgen would win the very first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901 for a discovery that began with one stubborn, unexplained glow. We like to think science is about answers, but this whole branch of medicine exists because one man refused to look away from a question. How many weird glitches in our own lives do we dismiss? That might be the start of something we don't have words for yet.